Dearborn, Michigan. Just a 20 minute drive from Detroit, this city is riddled with a rich history of hardworking Americans. It is also home to Survivor Dearborn. This backyard version of the hit TV show Survivor has taken this city by storm and has made its streets its tropical paradise and the backyards its battleground. For the past three seasons, 47 castaways have played the game for their shot at claiming the title. And for our fourth and final season, we are bringing back 12 of the game's brightest heroes and 12 of the game's most devious villains. But no matter the label, everyone has their own story. Whether it be to return to show that they are the best, to get revenge on those who have wronged them, or to find redemption in mistakes past. In season three, I lost control. I trusted my alliance too much, and that ended up biting me in the butt in the end. I think I'm definitely turning for redemption. This is my third season. I haven't won yet. I've, I've always had played a good game. I've found idols. I've played strategically. But I've just never been able to finish it. Season one, everyone just kind of tumbled their way through to the end. Season three, I learned that people had strategies and were willing to use them and didn't care who they got out. I got one last chance to prove myself as a player and to be the player that I thought I was in season one. Uh, last time I played was season one's Roger Dearborn two years ago. Since the last time I played, the game has changed quite a bit. I don't know if it's for better or for worse though. I have a lot of time that I've spent thinking about this over the two years, so hopefully it'll all, the plan will come to fruition. In Survivor Dearborn's final outing, everyone is fighting for their last chance to prove themselves. I think I'm more dangerous than a butt cheek on a I won last season. I'm a big bad villain. I was on the season before. I'm, I'm, I'm the reason people watch this show. And that game on season three, I would look at someone in the eyes and they'd be like, damn, this kid probably packing a knife right and I took the game too seriously. Uh, I won, but I had to kill some people in the process. For now, I'm going to try to change my game a little bit, and have a little more fun, be a little more camera friendly, and uh, hopefully I can um, provide for a more positive experience, even though I did win. After season one, I got a lot of reception. <laughs> I was just doing my thing, and I guess a lot of people enjoyed it, because I won the fan favorite. I feel like they either loved me or they hated me, because I was being a little annoying. Uh, my strategy this year is to make my own decisions. I do not have to go golfing this time. I'll probably just be the funny guy. They'll just keep me around because they like to laugh and stuff like that. Just ready to have a good time. Might not win, but whoever tries to ruin my fun is going. I think it's partially redemption just because I did make it to the top three without winning any challenges. So I think this time I'm here to show people that I can do well in the challenges and I can still make it. I think I'm on the Heroes Tribe because season one, throughout the whole time I was very loyal to the people I had alliances with and I made it pretty far with what I did. Looking back at my performance, it wasn't the greatest. The seventh gainer, Santana was going to play gainer too, and right this just all switch. We lost every single challenge and whoever went home that day was basically who I decided was going home. You know, I lied to people, I told them they weren't going home when they were, that kind of made me the villain. And uh, I'm okay with that, I'll embrace it, but I'm not looking at it a hero-villain perspective, I'm looking at it more of a uh, who can I trust, who can I not trust. From season one, I was targeted from the beginning for being a physical threat, and I stuck to my guns, I saved with my alliance. It's in my nature to want to you know, work hard and win challenges, so it would be tough for me to try to make myself look like a, a weaker survivor, and it's going to be my instinct to go out and go hard in every challenge, so I think I'm going to embrace it. Maybe use that as a way to, if people want to keep me around early in the game, so their tribe can win, and then maybe use me as some sort of buffer later in the game. I definitely think I'm sort of a threat, because I did get some people out last season that probably didn't want to get out. And I do think a lot of people like took that as unexpected how far I went, but I think I'm returning to return um, just to see how well I do because like when I go into this game like it's great to go really far and I really hope to make it to like jury this time but I don't necessarily have to like win that's thing. Like I'd love to but like, I'm kind of just playing before the game. Last season I tried to put out too many names and the famous if you're not with Orange Tribe you're against us kind of backed me into a corner. You're either with Orange Tribe or against us. I think I'm a villain because people are scared of me. They don't want the smoke that is Mikey Divis. And that's why I'm a villain, because it's better to be feared than loved. But in a game like never before, who will come out on top and claim the $160 cash prize and the final title of Soul Survivor? Three days, 24 people, one. 
Survivor. Survivor. I go to sleep every night praying about Survivor. I want to be more of a redemption story this season, you know. I just didn't, you know, meet the standard I should have. Like, like the sardine eating challenge, that was, a, that was a big, big hitter for me. I've been eating sardines every day since then. Build up my speed, so when that challenge comes again, I'll be ready. If you switch it to something else though, I'm not going to be ready. So I'll have to start all over, but I think I can handle it. <laughs> the Boy Scout Alliance is already showing. Uh, <laughs> it is. I'm definitely more educated this season, season three. It was definitely a learning curve, especially being on the fans. None of us really knew what was going on. What went wrong in season three is that I became a little too trusting. I thought I had a stronger alliance with Cam. We told each other we would let one another know if we were on the chopping block. He didn't follow through with that promise. So. I didn't see my, my demise coming, even though I should have. I don't want that to happen to me again. I do not have any regrets from season two. I think I did good. I stuck to my alliances throughout the whole thing. Maybe I could use that in season four, and I could use people now, and they'll trust me with it. I think I'll do good. I don't think anyone's going to target me unless I do something bad, but for now I think I could. Oh, we fine. Season three, and since then I've uh, started an internship at Ford Motor Company, and I've committed to play college baseball. Once we hit merge, I really had no idea what I was doing, so I think with more experience this time, I'll be better off. I think people see me as a physical threat, even though I've yet to win an immunity. So. Hopefully, pre-merge, I'll have a good alliance formed and maybe then we can start to make some big moves. Alright, we're back in business.
Come on in, guys. Dylan, come on in. Welcome everyone. Season <laughs> four, Survivor Dearborn, Heroes vs. Dylan. <laughs> two years ago, we started season one. We were on a journey, it was two days back then, 18 people. Here we are, 24 people, season four, final season. We brought back 12 of the game's best heroes and 12 of the game's best villains. Duke get out in the final season to prove that they are number one in the game. Ashley, two years since you played. How does it feel to be back out here? It's exciting. I'm excited to be back and get to see everybody. Jen, gotta say, two years again, season one vet, you voted yourself out. How does it feel to be back in the All-Star season? It's feeling really good and uh, I feel like I have a really solid try. So, yeah, she does. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on Survivor Dearborn, but I'm so psyched to be back. I don't know, I feel like an old person kind of coming into Survivor, but that's fine because uh, like, a f like a fine wine, I age. So I think in some ways season one was kind of the most difficult season, even if it wasn't actually in regards to challenges and how things went, but it was. We were figuring it out and everyone was kind of unsure of themselves and I was very unsure of myself. But I want the team to go really far and I want someone from my team to win, so it's like a sacrificial choice. And so coming back, I feel really inspired to play the game and do it well and to rise to the top and just pump people out. So we started out the game, Heroes and Villains. Who thinks that that title doesn't really fit them based on the tribe that they're on? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is okay with where they're at? Yeah. Villains, kind of going into the game, kind of a negative aspect of things. Alex, how are you going to make this into a positive? We're going to have fun. I'm not 100% sure why I'm a villain, other than I might have put my my stronger alliances in a bad position by trusting some of my weaker alliances. I can still be trusting up until a certain point. I know at a certain point I'm going to have to flip. I might have to stab someone in the back. It's, it pains me to say it, but I'm looking to not be as trusting. Delano, both seasons you played kind of a very straightforward game, and I think the hero's mantra that is kind of expected from you. How do you think that might affect the outcome of this game? I really don't have any idea. I mean, I'm going to try going straight forward again, but we'll see what happens. All right. What went wrong in season three? One word. Delano. If it wasn't for Delano, I stand by the fact that I would have won. No one would have stopped me. I watched the episodes. He asked Mark before Tribal, who are we voting for? And Mark said, Peyton. It's always been Peyton. We haven't changed. And then you know what he does? He goes and votes for Mark. And that was the, that would have been the tying vote. And I got voted off after that. For shame. Martin. Okay. Looking okay. at the heroes. Anybody that you're happy to see? Anybody that you're upset to see back? Uh, I don't care. We're just going to beat them. So. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Coming so close to coming in first, the first season, I was I was honestly surprised because I didn't expect to make it that far. And so, you know, it was a little disappointing that I came to second to Noah of all people. But, uh, you know, I was okay with it, just seeing as how far I went. I think what puts me on the Villains Tribe is just kind of running the show a little bit. I, I was definitely telling a good amount of people what to do. You know, being able to tell other people what to do is really easy. I could definitely come off as pretty manipulative. I'm not planning on trying to get voted out too soon. So, being a villain, I don't think is, is wrong, necessarily. Ryan, <laughs> season two, played with Charlie. He's on the villains, you're on the heroes. Is it good to see familiar faces around you? It's always nice to see my friends. <laughs> is it good to play with your friends, though? Oh, I love playing with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> when I was playing during season two, it was all about having fun, having a good time, but overall my game, I, I was too reliant, I didn't make tougher decisions, you know, to position myself better in the game and not rely on other people. This time what I can bring into the game is not just the attitude of having fun, but having fun while analyzing the, the social situations and understanding what's going on around me. Noah, OG season one winner. Oh. We have two winners in the game. Oh. You and K 
Cam? Cam, that's coming from Noah on the Heroes Tribe. I don't think people need to watch your season and question why you're on the Villains Tribe. Well, I didn't get the name Big Mo, just for any reason. <laughs> and it was a dirty price with that name. <laughs> Last season, Cameron was really hard to trust because he kind of was doing anything he wanted to win the game. And I don't think I can really ever fully trust him on this game because I, he's so competitive that I think he will do anything like again and like get me off. And his ties with Brendan, I think he would more likely like ally with Brendan. I think again than like anyone else. You know, me and Cam are me and Cam are buds. We have a good time. The last time I was too close to him, and so I was like you know kind of linked to him. And there's certain things I didn't want to do just because he's my brother. And uh, I'm just worried that that's gonna like hold me down this game, but I think it's good that he's on the other the other tribe so that way I can I, I can feel free to play my own game away from him. Stephanie, we got two winners, we got Jury, and here you are for season three, you were out third, but you're on an all-star cast for a reason. I'm kind of intimidated. I knew I was getting voted off, but I didn't do anything to change it, so I kind of just let it happen. I'm definitely going to be more competitive, and I'm going to try to make changes if I need to, rather than just letting things happen. My goal for this season is to hopefully not be voted off first, second, or third, because I was voted off third last time. Mikey! Oh, you're out shortly after Stephanie. <laughs> Are you going to change some things around, things that didn't work before? You know, I don't know. I could go the same route, maybe get voted out to second or third. <laughs> I could switch things up, who knows? Right. My destiny is in my hands, Jess. Jacob, probably one of our most interesting villains, didn't make the merge either time, time the real merge, I should say. Do you think that you're going to maybe switch some things up? Are you going to like put out some charm? Or are you Owing that villain's title. Uh, yeah, no, I would definitely say I'm here for some character redemption. I'm here to show everyone that I might put on a villainous persona for the camera, but I think I'm a hero at heart. Okay. <laughs> Anthony. Everything from my past two seasons has put me on the villain tribe. I went through Cam's bags, I flipped people off, I swore at them, I was just, I was an asshole. I mean, hell, my own mom watched season three and saw some of my confessionals and was like, what the hell is going on? So, not all of it was me. Most of it was for the camera. But, you know, this season I really want to come in and just kind of be myself and not so much worry about creating a persona around me. Michael, you got kind of like a blood versus water thing going again? Or is this just strictly like game move? No, like you already <laughs> I don't really trust Michael. Last season, Michael said that he would be an alliance. I thought we were going to be good, and then that didn't really happen. But this season, he's already told me that we should be an alliance towards the end once we become together if we do merge together. Andre! Finished fifth place season two, fifth place season three. You're back for season four. What are your expectations going into this? Honestly, I do not know. Um, <laughs> I should have fun, and uh, you know, I would be surprised if we got out earlier than that this season. I think what put me on the Heroes Tribe from the past two seasons has been just a being a more trustworthy person compared to other people that I've played with. I'm returning just to return and see where I'm, I can go. I, won't, I mean, I went top five for both the other seasons. Because I know in season two, I trusted my alliances a little too close. And then in season three, I didn't trust my alliances enough. I guess in both situations, it kind of led to where I ended up in both seasons. Alyssa, <laughs> last season you were done for for your season one performance. Yeah. Last season you also threw up for a half hour. <laughs> do you think that this season you're coming in with lesser target, or do you think you're, you're all right? I think I still have like a target on my back, not as aggressive as I do too well, but I think I can like build up that target or like 
push it down, so it's up to me. I haven't been up too much this summer, you know, just been working every single day. Was definitely uh, hospitalized recently for uh, liver failure. Yeah, I had strep throat pretty bad. Uh, it really like got to me and then it attacked my liver, so I was in the hospital. So I've been through a lot. I think I'm ready for competition now that I've really worn myself out physically, mentally, emotionally. So I can take what comes at me. So I think everyone's just gonna come in and be like, you know what, big game. Some people might really wanna like pick it apart and like try their hardest and really like try with good alliances to win, but I'm kinda just gonna go in like buck wild. Robbie! Returning back season three. No, I'm gonna try to be more active in this game this time. I'm, I really wanna redeem myself from last season. So this game for you is about redemption? Yeah. So what's your favorite uh, bearded character from Season 3, Robbie? Glad to be back and uh, playing some Survivor again. So my game in Season 3 was alright, but I would have liked to be better. Like, you know, I think it kind of made a lot of people mad that I was that I made it as far as I did last season because I didn't really deserve it. I'm glad I got to make it as far as I did, but the only reason I kind of did was because nobody saw me as a threat. I want to try to be more active in this game, like try to do more canoodling, not just kind of sit around. I might try to be a leader, but I don't want to like basically tell everybody what to do because that kind of put put me as a threat and I'd get voted out early, but I'll try to like be more like a second in command to like the leader or something tribe. Like maybe try to be in a little bit more of a leadership position this time. Charlie, saw you, season two, having to go to almost every single tribal council. Yep. How is this competition, even if you're winning, gonna change because this is the final season? Oh yeah, last season, you know, pre-merge was basically a cakewalk other than that one Santana hiccup that I made. Everything else was easy. Getting to the merge is where it happened. This season, I think it's going to be before the merge. I think pre-merge, everyone's everyone's going hard, and I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. Yay! Yay! Let's get this thing started. <laughs> I'll get you guys the buffs. Yay! Woo! -hoo! My chop! My chop! Bill is here. You go. <laughs> Zero. There you go. You guys can head back to camp. Are they right? Get going. Yay! Yay! Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I want to know. 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 We definitely intimidated them so damn much. Oh man, they were, they were waking right now. All right, so we just got back from our our meet and greet with Jeff again. It's good to see him. It's about, been too long. After seeing the villains, it looks like we got the strength on them. We got the speed, but but we're gonna be okay. My first impressions of this tribe, I really like it. We have a strong physical game, and we probably have a pretty strong social game, but. I haven't played with some of them, so I'm not 100% sure on them. But I feel like we will be able to win a lot of the challenges over the villains, which will give us a definite um, advantage in the merge. I'm back, baby. It's been a good year. A lot of learning done. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready to take home the gold this year. Not, I don't really know what strategy I'm going to apply this time, but I'll, I'll feel out the water, see what's best for me. I'm excited to, to start winning, start, start playing. And, Getting, uh, getting the survival mood, so let's go. Um, so I guess first impressions are, uh, I think we have like a, like a strong tribe, definitely when it comes to challenges. Um, I definitely am like starting to see the divide between older people and younger people and how like you tend to talk to the people that you know better. And I don't know if that's going to have like a difference on how the game goes and how like who goes out who first. Because there is like more of uh, younger people than the older people. But um, I think that um, Everything is gonna go pretty well if we like win challenges, and that's what we're like thinking right now. Like stick to a tribe, and then yeah. So I'm super excited to be back in the game. You know, it's been a couple years since I played last, so I uh, feel like I've you know grown, and I've noticed a few things right off the bat. So when we uh, initially came into camp, splintered off into two groups. There was a group of five, which was me, Noah, Brian, Ashley, and uh, Brendan. And that worries me a little because that leaves the other seven and uh, that leaves us down on the number. So kind of the older kids have splintered off a little bit. So I need to talk to them, see if we can kind of gain some uh, leverage back and uh, maybe work with like Anther, Andre and try to pull them back with us. Because, you know, we need to get majority before we lose it. I, I, I hope we win this first, uh, this first challenge so I can have a little time to talk. But, um... You know, we need to we need to gain some numbers back before we go to this first tribal. 
I'm feeling pretty good about this season, I guess, so far. Initial impressions. I, I don't want really want to start thinking about what's going to happen if we lose a challenge. I'm just counting that we're not going to lose at all. That's a pretty probable prediction, I think. we got a strong team. Okay. So we can't believe it's here, guys. Like, challenges are coming. Oh. They're coming. Oh, there we go. Oh, we better be careful. Maybe it should just stay there. It just seems oh, comfortable. Here? We could put it in the basketball room. I think my tribe is pretty athletic, and I'm hoping we'll do well in challenges. I really just want to win the first one because last season, my tribe lost the first three, and then I went home. So if we win, I can't go home. My goal for the season is to do better than last time, so I only have to do better than third. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. I'm really excited to be back. I got two hours of sleep last night, and I, you know, I'm here. I met the, my new castmates, teammates, and I'm liking what I see. A lot of old friends to catch up with. Hopefully, the the friendship aspect of the game and the having fun doesn't get in the way of the competition. It's not even like, oh, we got that shirt from Goodwill. It's fine. It's like, why would someone have that shirt in the first place oh, to sure. donate that shirt, Brendan? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> to donate it to Goodwill. <laughs> It feels weird to be back in the game. Not sure how prepared I am for it. Any of the stuff that's about to happen. Like in the tribe right now, it looks like some pretty trustworthy people. But I gotta watch out because you never know what might happen. Survivor changes people. Here's my other option. I feel like this one's more. Uh... Oh, I like that though. Yeah. I like that. Feeling pretty good about this so far. I'm getting a little hungry, which isn't great, but I brought snacks. I'm seeing a little bit of a divide between like the older kids and the, the younger people. So I'm, I, I was talking to Brendan about it and we're trying to make sure that we don't have like a, a divide because there's more of them than there are of us, which is a little bit scary. I don't want to commit too much. I don't want to like, I don't know. either, but I, I'm thinking about it too. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a, the thing is like, there's a divide between the people from our grade and the people from the younger. Yeah, I think is there any you gotta stop that. I'm not, I'm personally, I don't vote in just like Margaret is they're my friends. Yeah. And like, <laughs> I, I have so many other options. <laughs> so, so, many, so much more low hanging fruit. And there's more of them, which is making me a little nervous. I don't want to pull a Brenner and like play really bad. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm gonna, I, I'm trying to like be a bit more of a leader. And, like show, show my stuff more outwardly, you know? So I think I got a good relationship with Ashley going. We'll see. We'll see how that turns out. He's coming up this Wednesday. First impressions of the camp. I I like it. I think compared to the other tribe, we got a lot more people that I can work with on this one. I think I'm either gonna be targeted really early, or I'm gonna kind of fly under the radar right now. So hopefully, I can find this community idol, and we can go from there. You know, here to party, here to have a good time. But I'm serious. So let's do it. I'm party. The first thing that jumps out to me is the divide between the older kids and the younger kids. So there's five of us that graduated with my class and then there's seven on the younger tribe. So I'm really hoping it's not the young kids kind of voting us out one by one. I really want to intermingle everybody into one big tribe, at least at the start, and keep it from being that just seven voting out five all the way down. Like just unconsciously, us the older kids were just starting to talk about work and kind of what we've been doing the past this past summer and it just naturally occurred that the seven younger kids kind of split off and then there's the five older kids so it's not a good sign at this point but hopefully it'll, it'll turn out as the game starts to get going and we start to strategize a bit more. So far I don't really know who could be good alliances. I might be the first one out but I just gotta try to get Stephanie Polakowski to either align or be the first one out on my trip. I really no, haven't been talking to too many people, so I don't know yet, but we'll find out. I was thinking about getting rid of Brendan, even though earlier I was talking about that 7 vs 5, older younger split. Once we get to the merge, he might go with Cam, he's not good at keeping a secret, and he's not just, he's not a great social player, so even if unintentionally he does something that it might screw us over. I think Anthony's the player I want to go with throughout the game. He'd kind of be similar to Martin, where we bounce ideas back off each other. I'd have to be weary that he might try and vote me out eventually, so I'd have to be worried about that. But I, I need somebody who I can like confide in, and at least have one person to 
the bounce ideas off of. He's gonna do it once we get back to the track. Oh, oh I gotta get this one. Yeah, I don't know where to get this. It's a commitment. I'll wear it for the challenges, but just, I can't die. Yeah. Walking out to the field was, um, it was fun. I feel like our tribe already had bonded. Like we were pretty, we were pretty like laughing, joking, confident. Even though they have some like athletic people, we kind of just have more like the big characters, you know, and that's really important in the challenges because like it's all about getting in the heads and you know, talking smack. So I think we are more powerful and I, it was almost like I didn't even notice the Heroes Tribe. I was kind of just like hanging out with my Villains Tribe. Heroes versus Villains, this is the classic tale of good versus evil. However, this isn't no tale. This is a reality game show. In real life, good doesn't always vanquish evil. That's like my opening little thing. Um, there's two kings in this game. There's Noah and Cam, the two previous winners. They also just happen to be the two people that led the voting out of myself. So, there's a target on their back for sure. Uh, so, I think it's about time I usurp that throne. I think I just need to, I need to clear the air with you, Cam. Because there's some air to clear. If you want to put like an honest handshake down, I'll like, okay. like after this. I won't, I won't. If I, I'm going to vote you out, I'll tell you. Okay. I'm not going to you, okay? This is what's going to happen. This is what I'm telling you right now. I'll tell you right now. No bad blood, all right? Okay. How I see the game right now. You obviously have the biggest heart on your back. Yeah. I also have one of the biggest hearts. You do that. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you I watch do. out for me with the hundred class Now keep the heat on. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. Honestly, 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 honestly. Okay. Going into this, I knew I was gonna get targeted, or I feel like I'm gonna get targeted by the underclassmen. So, very first thing I did, went up to Cam Godin and I said, Cam, I watch your back, you watch mine. You know it's six on six, right? Oh, yeah. I think we both do the math. Uh, yeah. But like, I, I wanna like work with you. I don't think it has to be. You know what? I trust him to be honest because he's fighting for his life out here as one of the only winners in the game. So me and him are gonna have a working relationship. Oh yeah, you want that? We can't. I don't know. I was already talking, man. I think you guys all did the math like for young kids virtual. Sub songs? Yeah. Fellas? It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. What do you mean it doesn't have to be? Like it doesn't have to be younger versus older kids. It doesn't have to be Mikey. We don't have to vote him out first. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, canoodling only works if it's like not all the tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, you guys can talk. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little claustrophobic. Go. Well, now the now the cool people are gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yummy. <me. laughs> oh. Feeling good because I feel like I'm good friends with most of the people here. I'm still having my doubts. I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's gonna start to heat up after the uh, first challenge because right now we're just chilling, nothing's a big deal. But it's gonna start getting like sus suspenseful after uh, the first challenge. Hopefully, we win a couple so we don't have to worry about who to get out. But when the time comes, I'm ready. How do you feel? First season one. I think I'm okay. Coming back for the first time. I don't know. Why? What are you worried about? I don't know. I feel like I'm close to everyone, but then I feel like. Yeah, are you in this to win it? Are you serious about it? Yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you still like my friend? Yeah, I'm your friend. That's why I had to be sooner. I'm still doing this or what? I'm looking with man. Probably Charlie. I'll talk to Michael Hancock, Alex. Maybe even a, a list a little bit. I'll have to reach out to Martin, Jacob Renner. And I don't know. I'd be open to talking to Mikey, but I don't think he. I mean, we're, we're cool, but. We haven't really made an effort to talk to each other yet, so we'll see what happens. I'll just walk around, see what I can do. Hi. Did everyone go back there? <laughs> everyone came. He fights. So uh, we just uh, got, back, got back to camp. Um, everybody's already looking for idols, but I don't really think we do need idols that like right now, because I mean, who knows? We could win the first challenge, hopefully. Just looking for an idol. I don't think I need it at this point, but it'd be nice to have it. I found the clue on the gutter next to the thing. Congratulations, you have found a clue to an advantage in the game. At first challenge, you will want to be a runner for the beanbags. You will want to be the first to go in the second heat. This will make you more sense when you get to the challenge. However, this advantage isn't yours in question until you, unless you have it. Someone else grabs it for you. It's theirs, and you're out of luck. I'm actually going to keep it in here forever. Um, 
sucks, but uh, I'm going to get the item, okay? Guys, don't look. I'm changing. I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Are you impressed? Oh, jeez, Robbie. Oh, Sean and I are alone in the bush. Sean has the idol! <laughs> Sean, that is not right. Sean, is that an idol or are you just excited to see me? Sean, put that away! <laughs> so, we get here, and, you know, things are actually very fun. This is probably the most fun tribe I've ever been on. I feel like Heroes is probably silent. That's okay, though. You know, they're probably gonna destroy us in challenges. You know, I look around, we got Michael Hancock, we got me, we have Robbie. I mean, we're not great in the strength department, but, you know, we have spirit, and I think that's what counts. All right, game on. Dude, who is this guy? All right, Jake. All right, All in terms of alliances and stuff, so far the only thing that I've heard of, Cam, Matt, and all of us really just kind of want to, right, this could be totally wrong, they could be lied to me, but they called me over, so I don't know. They want to work together and basically get out the people who are not going to be a lot of fun, you know, around the tribe. And the only names that got thrown around, and I think I dropped them, but there's a lot of agreement, was Michael and, um, and Robbie. I, I, I only voted on Jacob, because Jacob was gunning for me last year. Like, yeah, I, mean, I, I got like, you. Oh, last year. <laughs> season two, I was not. No, season, like, well, season two, you went through my pack. No, I was doing that. <laughs> yeah, I was doing that just for information. That was a good decision. Matt? <laughs> Matt's giving a confession. Oh, okay. Tall people are always like a very good alliance. Tall the tall, the tall, really tall pretty people. people. The tall pretty people always think an alliance. So what are we supposed to do? I, I guess we just gotta grow, but we gotta make a short people. Short short people. Mediocre people alliance. Short alliance. The tall prettier people always seem like have a really powerful alliance. And like then there was like Charlie and you and last time I thought you were super dangerous, that's why I tried to get you I'm out. Really not that like I'm not even being that scary this time. I really want um Cam, I've talked to Cam, and I trust him so far. He seems genuine. I was a little afraid of him. He told me last season that he didn't like me on his side, and it was obvious. He scared, scared me. He was very angry. But now I think he's willing to work together until, like, the last minute. So I'm down. I'm going to try to work on that alliance because I think both pretty powerful. And we're thinking, like, the overall thought is just get, like, the younger people out first. They just have less power. Kind of, if we were to lose, we'd probably go for whichever Hancock is on our tribe. I think it's Anthony. But I don't know, I haven't even talked to Anthony yet, so God knows maybe he could be like a really key aspect because he's very fast, so. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be, keep it real with you guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I'll tell you who's like, I trust this camp. I trust this Okay, camp. if you guys wanna vote me out, you no, can. No, no, like, I'm not. You're, <laughs> I mean, you're probably the most real. athletic person on our tribe. So. No, I'm not. Yeah, we just gotta. So like, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be hard. We just gotta okay. steamroll the heroes tribe. Yeah. And like, I kind of want. I want to pull like a purple green thing. Yeah. So they vote everyone out, and then I just want to watch them like. I just want to watch them. Charlie's purple. changing. Into Charlie, the you went on like the most like elevated. Obvious, you service. like exposed yourself to the world. Yeah. You're like, okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. It's all good. It's a little more intense than last time. Things are going pretty well. I haven't heard anything suspicious like about me or anything, so that's good. That's what I was worried about. Right now, a lot of people are looking for idols. A lot of people are just kind of like talking to each other to try and get the feel of things. Cam came up to me and he's like, "Hey, I don't want to make this younger versus older. That's going to be like six v six. That's just going to be a mess." Like, let's just, you know, get out people who won't help us as much in challenges. We haven't really mentioned any names yet, but kind of think it's kind of heading towards, like, Robbie or Michael, maybe Jen. I don't want it to be Jen because I think me and Jen can be a good alliance in this game. But um, I'm excited. This is going to this is gonna be different, but it's going to be more, it's gonna be more fun. So kind of the thought here is um, we're outnumbered by the sexes. Yes, and, uh, per usual. That's how we like it, though. It's a good ratio. Yeah, they need us. Well, political so, correctness. I'm feeling really good right now. It's kind of like in The Bachelor. In The Bachelor, how they keep like the black guy in for like four weeks, and then she like lets him go. They can't get rid of us. They can't get Or rid we're going to file a lawsuit. Yeah. Or something. I don't really know this? how court works. They can't just band against us. Yeah, they can't just get rid of us. No. I mean, they could, but that'd be really mean. So, I yeah. think we're pretty safe. I feel good. Yeah. I'm feeling confident. Maybe we'll just... This we'll, is a good tribe. Yeah. Right? We're pretty evil. The Ew. superior tribe. I, we got, we're obviously better, the better tribe, so I'm not really worried. I feel like there's some pretty strong alliances on my tribe, but I'm not even 
trying to think about that too much right now just like get into the challenges and do pretty well goal is to make the merge because i have some pretty good friendships on the heroes tribe so i think if i can get there i can do really well i just have to make it past this i'm sure you're like nervous that like that you're probably not good at challenges or something so yes. you think you'll get voted out yeah because like that's what like all the people are talking about mm -hmm. but like like i'm pretty cool with you like i don't i haven't played with you before like mm -hmm. We're just gonna keep it. We're gonna like keep it cool. So like this season, I have like everything to lose. So like exactly. And I don't know. I feel like you know I might not be the strongest at challenges, but I'm a like loyal vote. Mm -hmm. If you know we even get to that point, so I think it's good to. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna vote you out first or second or third yeah. or fourth because there's no point because I've even played with you. You're not even like that much of a threat. Like mm -hmm. there's a lot of. Uh, scheming going on back there. I'm trying to get in on both sides because uh, like I said, I don't have the strongest friendships on this tribe. But if you want a snack later, I brought Thanks. so much food. I, I brought some food. I brought oh, a whole you. cooler. I brought chicken and strawberries chicken? and whipped cream. Like, like chicken. Like cooked? Yeah. Hoping with the food I brought, it'll entice people to keep me on the tribe. And um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hearing all these names flying around you know people want another's out and uh it's a little nerve-wracking but i think it'll be good who's like your best friend on this tribe in this tribe i would say alex and sean okay well if you're good friends with sean i think we should be buds <laughs> mm -hmm. day one doing pretty good getting pretty hot out not really scared at all i know i'm not gonna get out first I have no idea who everyone's gonna vote though. I think it's just gonna be like random who this gets out. The divide between like the ages, like I'm one of the youngest people here. So the divide like scares me a little, but like I know I'm not gonna get out first. They need me. I'm a good and like powerful player, so they're gonna keep me in. But I am scared from that divide, so I just gotta watch out for that when I do. What's up, Chief? Alex, what's the move? Hello. I'm just chilling. Yeah, wait. Can I be let in on the moves? Because I don't know any of the moves. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, like, I'm hearing too many moves. Like, I see people canoodling, but like, I don't want to canoodle yet. We haven't even done a challenge yet, so yeah, I want to stay strong Robbie's to try. Robbie's been making power moves. Robbie? Yeah, Robbie? that kid's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Is he like a dark horse? He's a, he's a big threat. Really? <laughs> big threat, I should yeah. be worried. Leader going. Um, pretty good. I think I'm a good leader. Is there anyone you think's not doing their share of work around camp? Yeah, I think everybody's doing fine. So as tribe leader, you're not going to call anyone out? I'm not yet, no. Not? Uh, yeah, come on. Well, we just, we'll you get our wings you give us you, you gotta, us yeah, you got to be feeling yeah. someone. I don't want to give a name or put a target on that. Just do it. Just do it. We're not, I'm not going to tell no, them. No, not, just the camera. Just this the camera. is a secret. Yeah, this is between you Whisper and me. Whisper it. The camera guy. Our best Jen is kind of sitting over there right now, so. I would say we should vote right here. So this season, um, I know how everybody's played, and a lot of people uh, are. I've had like a lot of my allies from the past that are playing with me, including ones from the other tribe. One thing I am worried about here, though, is everybody's saying that I'm the leader, and I know I've noticed in the real Survivor that leaders often get taken out pretty early. So I'm kind of worried about that, but. but We'll just see what happens, I guess. I haven't really heard any alliances warming up yet. I mean, I, I heard you were talking some names out. Who you talk about? Well, I mean, people were asking who we should vote if we have to, and I don't know. I mean, I think Jenner Martin would be too. Why, why do you think that? Well, Martin is a big strategic player, and, and uh, think but we want to keep this. We want to keep this. We want to keep the tribe strong. I think it'd be risky. Yeah, maybe we maybe we'll vote him out later. I guess Jen. I don't know how much it'll help out. I mean, I've just seen like a performance this morning. So. Oh, really? So, it's just an idea. I mean, if you got anyone else, I mean, feel free to like name them. <laughs> you. <laughs> Do you want to really Who do you think is like the least there? athletic person on our tribe? Mm. I hope it doesn't go that far. You just it's probably it. me. <laughs> Do you think we should we get you out first? I mean, hey, if you guys want to. I honestly, I, I came over here because I don't know. Last in the seasons past, I haven't like really got like. I've made my alliance, and then like, you know, the people who aren't in it like. Don't go out of their way to talk to you because you know yeah. you're not in their alliance, and, and so like, and you don't go out of your way to talk to them. So like, I figured I, my goal for this season was to talk to everyone, whether or not I'm allied with them, you know, just see what they're you know, alive with them. Are you at least trying to make the jury this time? Or just had to bring that up, didn't you, Robbie? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was worth mentioning. <laughs> <laughs> There's like some canoodling going on right now, not that much. I'm not really canoodling. So I want to start looking for the idols, but I don't want to be like that guy and then have that target on my back. 
yeah, overall, good first impressions. I think I'm in a decent spot. I feel like some people are on the chopping block before me, but yeah, we'll see how it plays out. So far away now, <coughs> but any day now, I'll sail on the morning tide. Oh, you gotta stay in your own people. So my plan this season, when I started off, was to try and be more mellow, not drop any names. I'm already kind of ruining that reputation because I've dropped names of the Hancock and Robbie. So who are you thinking of getting off first? Um, we're gonna try to go for the boring people. Um, try and get like yeah, the boring ones. I'm so with that. I didn't really start it, but I've I've been passing along the information, so. Not how I wanted to start the game, but we'll see how it goes. I think I'll be fine. <laughs> Been hearing like the boring people or like not active people are getting voted out first, but I don't know. I don't know why people are throwing out me. We haven't like done a who, challenge. Who, who's named the third? Sure. Yeah, yeah Robbie and Michael. Hancock. Let's hit. I don't know why. Pe saying. Why do people throw out names? Yeah, I think I got two more. I don't know, I'm scared. I'm like nervous. I'm right nervous too, cause like people have been canoodling, but like I haven't canoodled, so I'm a little worried. It's been a lot of canoodling, but I haven't really canoodled. Uh, it was more canoodling than I expected compared to last season. Uh, when we like first got here, nobody was canoodling. We were just like all together, just like chilling. I thought I had an ally in Cam, but like every time I go talk to him, he just like walks away or he changes the topic. So that's a little worrying to me. But uh, people are saying like the like non-active people will get voted out first. But I don't even know why they're throwing out names because we haven't even done a challenge yet. So. I kind of want to just chill, but they, they're not chilling. We have to yeah, keep the I tribe mean, strong yeah, right exactly. now, People are because like, the true like, enemy... Yeah, uh, the, <laughs> like, dude, like, the true enemy is blue tribe. Is the heroes. Yeah. So what are you talking about? We How have to win every challenge and like destroy can't throw the blue out, tribe. Can't throw out names yet, because we got to win. Cause we're going to be a strong tribe. Yeah, we're, we're going to win. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Who else have you guys talked to? Like, have, like, have you talked to Alan? Yeah, yeah. I, I've talked to them, of course. Like, they were they really like they were really nervous about like you guys. I haven't like, done like, strategy. I tried yeah. talking to Alex, but he was just like, yeah. Alex was really jumpy because I was like, you know, like some of the names that got brought up from like you know Michael and maybe Rob. You just you know, but we'll see how it goes. And he was like, did my name get brought up? And I was like, no. <laughs> but like, I don't think you'd believe me that it wasn't, even though it actually wasn't. If you just tell him that we're cool with him and stuff. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, I don't know. There's gonna come a point when someone's not cool with someone else. Right. So that's why I'm trying to like divide, like, like not divide a line. I'm trying to see like, okay, what's gonna happen? Because like, what are the odds? Like, I don't honestly, know. yeah. I, I don't think it's worth talking about names. Just because we don't even know if we're gonna need to vote people out. Right. So, that's true. Cam coming up and talking about not wanting to do young versus old is really good. Because uh, I was worried about that. I thought that was just going to be a free for all, and then just one person just gets picked on each side, and then it was just to just kind of see who, who flips. And I didn't really want to do that. I think that'd be a really good situation to be in because then either we can do keep getting rid of weak people, or we can keep uh, get rid keep getting rid of the young people. Because um, after if we get like rid of two or something, we might want to get rid of someone like Cam. Now it's just going to be a game of making sure Cam doesn't think we're going to do anything like that. Is there I was talking to Robbie. I was right. like, oh, Robbie, team leader, kind of joking around with him. And I was like, throw a name out there. He's like, oh, I don't want to do that. And he's like, I was like, no, come on, do it. Like, who, if, do you think someone's not pulling their share? He's like, well, Jen's sitting over there not doing anything. <laughs> so, I mean, Robbie's Dude. out for your blood already. Oh, man. Jen. I'm, I'm just trying to play it cool. No, it's no. I'm not frantic. To uh, that's what I thought of. Bad for Robbie, though, because he really wants to play. Well, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think we can get Michael first. You know, I do go ahead. I would get you first. I'd, I'd be okay with Michael first. But hey, we, we could have, win we every have, single yeah, challenge. We, we have lost. So yeah, I, that's, that's the goal. But that's we like, can't, like, drive our team apart right now. Because so, that's what I'm trying to do. I don't, <laughs> don't want to spend a ton of time with just the old Yeah, no. Because then Cam won't fit. All we know is that we're on the same page. Divisions are being made, as I predicted. Younger versus older is kind of what's showing up. But. We just got to play cool right now, I think. Can't throw any names out there because we haven't even started our first challenge. We're team right now. We're not, we're not individual. And I think we got to stick together as a team. <laughs> me, Mikey. Me, Mike. Mm, Mikey. Me, Michael Hancock. And Alex are all wearing the same shirt from cross country camp. 
we debated if we should wear the tank top or the other cross country shirt separately, and we all like said that should be a no go. So here we are, matching. <laughs> Respect hey, hey, great, Robbie, Robbie, before we go out, can I you lead us in a down. group stretch? God, you can't, right. man. I can do this. Lend me your energy. <laughs> Since I found the clue, I think that someone on their tribe might have it because there's probably only one. So it's going to be a race to see who gets that clue first. I don't know if there's an actual idol still back at camp, so that makes me nervous. But um, I really want to get this idol. We have to get to that second bean bag pile first. I'm going to go fast. Um, hopefully get it. Put it in my hand. Hopefully it's not huge. Uh, I'll see what happens. I'm kind of nervous, but uh, we'll see what goes on. Come on, hero. Oh! Villains, come on in! Welcome to the first challenge of the season. Woo! So wait now, how's the Heroes Trap doing? Give me a feel of what camp life is like. You no, know, camp life, it's awesome. I love it. Everybody here is pretty nice. They're all acting the hero part, you know. They look like uh, they got a... A good time! Sure. <laughs> Charlie, how's your tribe doing? Pretty fantastic. We all uh, we all having a good time eating some crispy rice, drinking some water. We're gonna get to the first challenge. Yeah. This challenge is called first challenge jitters. It's a combination of the first challenge from season one and the first challenge from season three. No. Oh. Ready. So what's gonna happen? One at a time, four runners will head out to retrieve four bean bags. Once all four are collected, four throwers will then land them in the cornhill. When a thrower makes a throw, they are done. Once all four are landed, one at a time the runners will retrieve a second set of bean bags. Once all four have been retrieved, three launchers and a retriever will work together to land bean bags into a ring. The first tribe to land three of the four bean bags inside the ring will win immunity. You guys want to know what uh, you're playing for? Yeah! yeah. All right, yeah. season four immunity. Oh. Also, winning tribe. We'll get these nice tarps for the night. Okay! Losing tribe. You will have a day with me at Tribal Council, but you won't go home empty-handed. You have a nice blue tarp. Give you guys a moment to strategize. Let's get to it. All right. Point for immunity. Tarps. Guaranteed safety at Tribal tonight. First challenge. Survivor's ready. Go! Okay. Take out his knees! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, There's one right here! One right here! Another one right here! Come on, Ronnie! Come on, Ronnie! Oh, 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 Yeah! Let's go! Oh, 
That's what I'm talking about! Enjoying Survivor Dearborn so far? I'm not sure yet. That's just gonna be what they always play for, like, enjoying Survivor Dearborn so far. Head on over to SurvivorDearborn.Weebly.com, click the fan favorite voting tab, scroll down, click the link, and choose your favorite player. 
You can vote for whoever you want as many times as you want. How about that beer place? Voting closes the night before the finale. Enjoy the rest of the season. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Alright, is anybody else like really shocked? Yeah. yeah, low key. Yeah. So that was nice. It's weird not having to figure out how to vote off because I'm not really used to that. Um, so yeah, now now we're kind of talking. Everyone's joking around and having fun. And I think even if we lost, it'd still be that way. It's just a lot of talking and a lot of having fun. And I like it a lot. Way better than the heroes, that's for sure. I like you guys saw my light flashing before my eyes. I, you like I believed in you. you. You got your freaking I cheered. Yeah, the one that. you hit, it went straight yeah. in. Well, that was a really good challenge. I honestly didn't think we would win. And I, I, I like, this is like such a villain thing to say, and I say this like in all my confessionals. And I kind of didn't want to win because I love. Okay, I see you, Cam. <laughs> and I really like kind of like losing because I like like the rush of canoodling. Because now it's like it's fun just like to sit and chill with your tribe, but it's also like if you canoodle now, it's like really suspicious because it's like, hey, we won. Why are you canoodling? It's like I love to canoodle. That's why I like the merge because you're always canoodling. So, but we did good. No one showed weak. Um, our slingshotting was incredible. Shout out Mikey and Martin. Um, runners were great, and uh, Jen really pulled through on that last cornhole. So, so I'm pretty excited. I think we can win. At least we got the most hype. And if we lose, then we get to canoodle. So it's like a win-win situation regardless. So, good talk. Uh, I think I could see. Goes out, I feel like it'll be more simple. I could see Ashley going out. No, you don't think so? She's too in with Noah. Yeah, but I don't know if Noah has the power. I mean, you think, I yeah, what about Anthony Hanger? I think, I think Noah, Noah I think Noah, Brennan, and John are going to win. I forgot Brennan. Probably, yeah. So I'm glad we just won that challenge. Um, felt pretty good to actually win the first challenge time instead of having to worry about going to tribal council right away. For the heroes, I'm not for sure who they're going to vote out, but Stephanie is a possibility because she seemed like maybe the weakest link. Isn't it bigger? Yeah, I checked all the spots that it was in season two. Why don't we do it? Really? What are the other spots like? Is it like, is it like medals again? Or what? We won. I'm really excited because I got that advantage. If you are on the losing tribe this past challenge, the idol is yours. It will be available for you when you go vote. If you are on the winning team, you must give this idol to someone on the losing tribe. They will not know who gave it to them. It will, it will be given them when they go to vote. It will be up to them if they use it or not. Good luck and play smart. It's going to be a tough choice. I don't know if I want to build an alliance or, or break one. I don't know. It's kind of funny how he's like, no canoe, you can go shake your tribal, even though like, he knows we're going to be talking. Well, we have to like, yeah. there's no way we can vote someone off if nobody's talked to anyone about anything besides like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> you know? It's like, new season, same thing, because last season we lost the first challenge too. I'm really nervous, just because like, everyone here is more of an experienced player than me. But I'm hoping for some mercy, like, like we won't vote out first, like we'll save it for a little later. But. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do because they're just like no one like we don't want to vote anyone out. Like we've all like we were talking about Ed Sheeran back at camp. We weren't like canoodling or anything, so this was really sudden and unexpected, but we're just gonna have to go with it. Yeah, that kinda of hurt. Yeah. <laughs> that shit hurt. <laughs> oh, it's on camera. <laughs> that first challenge did not go as planned, obviously. We lost. I'm a lot more out of shape than I thought it was and I feel like that kind of uh puts me a little bit lower on the chopping block, so I definitely have to watch myself. I have to start making alliances and stuff. I feel like we might have to go Brendan, but like, he's such a great personality to have on the show. I don't want to vote him off. And I'm not sure if you guys got this on camera or not, but he's like, hey, I trust you the most out of like everybody in your age group, so that might be able to help me. We gotta, yeah. we gotta get back on the most streaks. So. Yeah. yeah. Nine. I've never been on the wind streak. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I'm not, so I'm yeah. kind of up there. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. First, first challenge that I've ever lost. At least I don't get the blame for uh, losing. It looks like I did alright, so. I mean, the, the throws really held us back on that. But in terms of voting out, my immediate thought was weak link, so hopefully the other threats are thinking that too. So they don't 
think about me as a as a big threat. <laughs> so now we're supposed to go straight to tribal council and I feel like there's a lot of options but there's also no options because on one hand I know for a fact that no one has the immunity idol because no one even looked for the immunity idol which I'm definitely okay with but at the same time I've heard people saying Stephanie, I've heard people say um, not Michael but Anthony but I, I, I have a funny feeling about Ryan, I don't really want him going too far. I just. I don't think he'd be with me for the long run. I don't think we'd get him out now. It could be someone to look into. I'd probably just be going, trying to go with the consensus right now since there's so many people. I don't really want to make any enemies or too good of friends right now. I think I just kind of want to lay low. So I'll probably just go with what the group decides on, but we'll see how it goes, I guess. That would be this one. This year too. Like, I feel like I tried, but so sad. Like that was potential, you know? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Because he's, like, he's an older yeah. kid. Maybe we can do like a quick little play. Yeah, he also doesn't. Like, he's really loyal to Charlie and Charlie's on the other tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't know what he's going to do. And like, he switches. Yeah. But, um... For the challenge, I was like sitting in the back. And like, you know, I was just a retriever. I didn't do anything really to contribute to the team. But in like at the team camp, I mean, I'm being myself, I'm being vocal, I feel like I can't continue to uh, draw attention to myself outside of the challenges and then when we get to the challenge, like not do anything because if anyone's paying attention to me, they'll notice that I'm not doing anything for the team. Hopefully this, you know, this quick surprise vote goes well. But me and he has his brother too. Yeah. But like they're always <laughs> don't like teaming up with each other. Like that, that'd be like part of their strategy, though. Like yeah. no one would see it coming. Yeah. So you guys just want to be I know. No, I bring on this tribe yeah. great, so you don't want to get rid of anybody. Yeah, yeah. it's not just why there's an M. Like, why can't somebody volunteer? <laughs> 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 it's not like that. No. Damn it, Sammy, where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Mark, please don't vote me out first. And he just looked at me. So I'm like so scared. I don't want to go home right now. Like, <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to. But you think we're on the same page? I cleared my schedule for this. I want someone from the younger kids to go out just because, not that they have done anything like that threatening yet, but I don't want them to have the opportunity to become a power, you know, against us, keep us down. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of different people right now. I've been hearing Stephanie and Anthony. And then I heard something about Ryan and Brendan, which I don't know. I don't know if people are just saying that to throw other people off or if it's actual thought. So I got I got some thinking to do. I got to talk to some people more, but we don't have much time. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Some of you, this is not a place that you want to be. For some of you, it maybe want to, you might want to be here. Get some people you don't want out. But first challenge, I don't think anybody wants to go home right now. John, what happened in that challenge? I mean, we just we just didn't throw beanbags in, in the corner. I mean, <laughs> it's that simple. Yeah. I mean, it was just a, it was just a, a lack of either skill or focus on our part. Maybe a little little jitters from the first challenge back. Delano. In previous seasons, the game has evolved. In season one, the first person out volunteered. In season two, the first person out was the weakest person on the tribe, arguably. And then in season three, it was a quote-unquote strategic decision. How is this season going to change for you guys? The way it's going to evolve this time is like, everybody here has a good social game. Everybody here brings something to the table. There's really no weak link. There's really no alliances forming that much, because like, we didn't have any type of canoodle. Well, we weren't supposed to have any type of canoodle. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> basically, it's going to be a very tough vote. Ryan, what are you basing your vote off today? Is it like first impressions from that first half hour or so? Or previous games from the past? Nice question, Jeff. I think that I will inform my decision 
with mostly just our, our first impressions type Noah. Everyone else did something wrong to not, you know, win the game. So I think that basing off, off how people acted before, you know, isn't really always the best idea. Noah, this is a familiar place for you. Oh, hell yeah. And Ashley, <laughs> you lost the first few challenges. You were part of the tribe that volunteered. How has this initial loss affected your game right now? The biggest change is the uncertainty just coming in. Like last year, like even if um, like people weren't volunteering, um, we kind of would knew who we were going to vote out kind of right off the get-go. But with a season like this, like we're all all-stars. We played the game. We know how to play. Somebody big's got to go home. So are you saying like someone big as in like yourself? It could be. I've heard a lot of different names thrown out. Um, Brendan, John, and myself I know were thrown out. So I don't know if it's just hoop block because maybe somebody walked into the circle that shouldn't have and we need to switch names. Brendan, that's kind of nerve-wracking for you. Like, I'm, I'm nervous. Like, I know I could, I could go out, but I feel like that's, like, true with, like, anyone. Like, I heard I heard Noah's name. I heard, you know, I've heard, like, five names. Good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> You're, like, the youngest one on the Strive of All-Stars, yet you played hard and you made it to the jury last time. How has this tribe made you divided? Um, at first, we were just all talking about a cheer. And then we went to the, tri uh, the challenge and we lost, and then that, that like, started everything. I heard this, like lots of different names, I'm really hoping it's on me. Have you heard your name? No, I have not. Anthony, so is this vote going to be all over the place? Could we have like a, one, 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 like a tie across the board? Or is there like an idea of who's going to vote? When I go and tally the votes, how is this going to go? Honestly, I don't know. There's there's a lot of different strategies that can be employed. You can just go for the weak link, easy option, or or try and get someone big out and try and rally enough members when everyone's uncertain um, and voting all over the place. So it could go either way. I'm not sure. Nicole, similar to season three and the major, literally every single season that we've had, three girls to a whopping what nine guys. Do you think that that's an easy picking for you guys or? Because you guys are so low in numbers, do you think that you're easy to pick up for someone else's uh, alliance? Um, I guess like, not necessarily. It just depends on how the game is played. Um, anything can really happen. You can either like get the girls off or keep them on. It's just strategy and how the people are thinking. Okay. Stephanie, you were a victim of that I was. on uh, season three. How are you feeling right now? I have no idea what to feel. Like I feel like we're all uncertain. Like even if like you've heard other names or you've heard like or even if you've heard your own name or you haven't heard your own name it's like someone else said like oh it could just be like you walked into the circle and they changed what they were saying like you never know what's going to happen so this was a first we got the largest tribal on a tribe besides the merch tribal from season three but this is a pretty big tribal largest team many different connections from seasons one through three we'll all see how it goes anthony you're up Before you vote, you have been given an immunity from the advantage left on the first challenge. Your choice is you can either use it this round or you can pass and no one will ever know you have. So, look, I don't want to do it to him, but I kind of have to. I hope this is what the plan is.
Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Ryan. Anthony Hancock. Ryan. 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 The four votes, Ryan. Ryan. It's five votes, Ryan. Ryan. Six votes, Ryan. First person vote out of Survivor Dearborn, Heroes vs. Villains. Ryan. It's about the torch. Ryan. Try to spoil. Not out. Well, twist to the game. Ryan looks like he didn't see that coming. An almost a unanimous vote. Someone knew what was going on. You guys can head back to camp. See you guys later. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Next time on Survivor Dearborn. While the heroes finally start to play the game, the villains turn up the heat. Boom. Shut the bag. It'll Come here. Like, yeah. you stop. Can't, you Everyone, can't, you stop. Can't stop. 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 Trying to cause some mayhem. I just really, you know, that really got me. I didn't, I didn't see that coming at all. I thought I was safe. Shoot. Like. I knew I didn't, I didn't get things off to the, the best start. You know, I, I was late coming here, and I, I was talking a lot before, you know, drawing a lot of attention to myself, and like not, you know, during the challenge, I didn't really do much to contribute, but, you know, I don't know when that decision was made, you know, where, where everyone was thinking going with that. I mean, man, that really hurts.